Hi, it's me, Dr. Lee, and thank you for joining me. Today's prayer, I'm calling it Stay Calm. Stay Calm. And I'll be reading 2 Timothy, verse 1 and 7, and this is from the New King James Version. And it says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Again, 2 Timothy 1 and 7, New King James Version. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And so it's, you know, interesting at this time with um, all the, you know, coronavirus going on and like, uh, it's, you know, so much fear. And then people that love God shouldn't be walking in fear. And what I mean by that, I'm not saying that a person shouldn't take precautions. It's just like if you walk across the street, you're going to look both ways. You're just not going to walk without looking. And, but um, you got to use like common sense and things. So, but to be just as fearful as the people in the world is like okay you know you know where where does fear come from and it's the second timothy 1 and 7 says for god has not given us a spirit of fear so when you're talking to um people that say they love the lord and then you hear all this fear stuff coming up you're like oh okay but a power and of uh power and of love and of a sound mind and so fear makes us do all kinds of things. And, and Satan knows that he makes uh, it make us, you know, make us show like who you know we really are. Like, okay, you really trust in um God in this, you know. And so it's just just not with the uh, Corona um, virus, but with anything, anything that's that's fearful that people seem to like, you know. It's like I don't know. It's like you know, people start doing things like they typically wouldn't do or saying things, and you know, I know a lot of people um now or you know they they with the whole coronavirus you know i know they got the whole tissue thing like you know like they're buying up all the tissue and you know all you know i think the bleach and water the different stuff and and i i, I and i understand i understand people taking precautions a high ever but to take precautions and to walk in to walk in on um, walk in fear that's two different things because you can be smart about anything you could be intelligent about, about anything but to, you know, but to be fear and just like, you know, I noticed that a lot of people in like that, that's, that's in church, that go to church, they try to control others with fear, you know, like with fear. And, oh, you know, this, that, this may happen, that may happen. And it's probably people, you know, that, that do the, that do the same thing. And then you're looking like, okay, they're trying to control with fear. And that's what the devil does. He likes to control with fear. And so, because this clearly says for God has not given us a spirit of fear. We're supposed to fear God, but he don't give us a spirit a uh, spirit of fear. So um I had um it's kind of a funny story. I was talking to um this minister that I um personally know and she was telling me that how, you know, she hadn't watched the news or any of this stuff either. When she knew about the coronavirus and heard people talking about it. I was like, I can relate, I understand. Um that's me too. And she said when she got to work that day, she said it was like people had lost their mind. <laughs> and she said she had never worked that hard in her life. She said, ooh. She said the people just look like they just, you know, like you know, you just I guess can 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 um sense the fear and just like, you know, people just buying all kinds of stuff and buying up stuff and um and she said she and she was talking about how hard she had to work. And then she made me laugh and I told her, I said, Now you know what I'm gonna tell this on my YouTube channel. <laughs> but she said, um, she said, uh, yeah, she said while she was, uh, she, I don't know when she got home or whenever, she said that she got talking to God. She was praying to God and she said she prayed to God. She said, um, God, she said, um, you know, these people are like, you know, these people are acting fool out here, you know, they just, um, they feel fear, you know, it's just like chaotic. And she was like, could you just, um, could you give somebody, you know, the cure for this, um, uh, coronavirus? <laughs> And she said, she's talking to God. She's like, will you give somebody the cure? And she said, how about you give it to Dr. Lee? <laughs> and when she tells me this, I start laughing because it was funny because I had never heard anybody say this. And she was like, how about you give the cure to Dr. Lee? Because she's obedient and she's humble. 
and she would do what you tell her to do and she would get to the right person <laughs> and said that you know she would be the the, the 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 she you know she'll be the best person that to give it to you know you don't have to necessarily use a scientist or a doctor like a medical doctor in or anything like that you i mean you could just give it to her and she's going to be obedient she is going to do what you tell her to do and she'll give it to the the people that need to know this um and so when she's telling me this i'm laughing and so i'm just laughing it was it was hilarious because i you know you know i'm like this this is you know this is this is this is funny because i never heard anybody say anything like that and she said after she got through um she after she uh, was praying, as she was praying that she said she was like, well, God, you know, I hope it's okay to say that. I hope it's okay to, for me, you know, to ask that he, that you give it to Dr. Lee. So because he, she said, I just know she would do the right thing, the right thing uh, with with it. She would do what you tell her to do, and so and I just laughed and laughed. And she told me she said, Dr. Lee. You make sure you get a pen and paper beside your bed. She says, so when God give it to you, God give it to you, you can write it down. And I just start laughing and I say, I, it's just funny. She said, I'm not being funny. I said, I know, but it's funny. But I said, I know God can do what he wants to do. I said, if God wants to, 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 to give me some on the coronavirus, I said, he will. I said, but the other day, I said, I had, um, I was um in the bed. I was just about to sleep and I um was thinking about what what i was going to you know talk on my prayer video for the next day and i said it's like like the holy spirit gave me this bible verse and i was like oh yes yes this would be perfect but i didn't know know what you know what book in the bible that the um verse come from but um the verse and i was like okay i said tomorrow whenever i get up i'm gonna do this verse well i did not write it down i didn't get up out the bed and grab a pen and paper i used to leave pen and paper beside my bed because i'm like i dream stuff all the time and so with life you know you just you know you you don't do it one night and then when one night turns to you know 10 nights and 10 nights until a month and then you know you're not even doing it you're not even thinking about doing it so it's kind of interesting when she called me and she's telling me this and i'm laughing and she was like oh no i'm serious she was like she said you need to get your pen and paper it's just confirmation she said you just thought this the other day and then you like saying that you didn't you didn't write it down and you the next day you're like oh man i can't remember what Bible verse it, it is and she said but if you had your pen and paper there beside the bed you could just you know you could just write it down and i was like yes so she said just confirmation that you need to put your pen and paper back beside your bed and i said i'm going to do that tonight i said it's confirmation and then she was talking a little more and she gave me this bible verse here the second timothy one and seven and i said wow i said here we go again i said that's the bible verse that i was looking i was um you no know, looking to do i said i had written it down and that's what i said i was gonna do my prayer video about and she was like well that's two things that's all just just confirmation so i said well i am going to put my pen and paper beside of our bed i was like you know you know whatever god gives um gives me and i you know and i'm sleeping i wake up in the middle of the night i was like i can reach over and get my get, get my pen like i used to do um sometimes and but i just fell off but with that it was um it was just interesting that she was just saying that to see the fear the fear of the people the fear of the people she was like you know god you know bless us bless us with a, a cure for um for um for this and that's why she said you know she came up with the idea of giving me the uh giving me the cure but um but god can do anything i'm and i'm laughing because you know i had never you know i heard anybody say anything like, um, like that especially about me i was like well thank you i'm glad you know you um, feel this um that that god can give it to me but with all that i'm saying stay calm stay calm you know whatever your situation is stay calm and know that where the spirit of fear, where it comes from. And remember, I'm not saying not to use any, you know, intelligence with this or um, to use any precaution with whatever. Not just the um, uh, coronavirus, but with whatever's going on in your life. You know, stay calm. Stay calm and know, know that, you know, you trust in God. Know that you trust in God, whatever may come. Because stressing out about things and, and walking in fear... And worrying about things has never changed anything. Has never changed anything. People sit around and worry all day and it ain't changed. It hasn't changed anything. But a lot of time, what you need to do is just pick up your Bible and read your Bible and talk to God more. Talk to God more and 
you know, is, is seek him. Seek him at all times. You know, it doesn't matter if it's, if it's a coronavirus or whatever's going on. Seek him all the time. And that way when things like this come, you won't be so shaky. You won't be like the rest of the world. You'll be like, okay, I understand this. I, I hear you. I feel you. You know, I understand I'm taking my precautions, but you know, I know who hands that I'm in. And so, with the who hands that I'm in, so... I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to stand on God's, God's word for me and my family. So that's what I just want to say to, um, to you. Whatever, whatever's going on in your life, stay calm. Stay calm. And I'm going to pray. And as always, you can touch and agree with this in your life. Or you just, you know, take some of uh, my prayer and use it, you know, in your prayer. It's just all about trying to inspire and encourage you to pray more. Father, I come to you standing on... 2 Timothy verse 1 and 7. In your word, it says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Father, I thank you for letting me realize and understand that when fear comes in my life, it is not from you. Because you have not given us a spirit of of fear but of power and of love and a sound mind so father thank you for having for me having a sound mind and to be able to discern the things of you father may i continue to grow may i continue to grow in this walk in this walk after your own heart seeking your face so that when situations come, when life happens, when things are just, uh, just all in the media and just making everyone else just, just be filled with fear, that I can find my comfort in you and stay calm. Even though I am taking precautions, I am staying calm because I am trusting in you, Lord. So, Father, thank you. I love you. You're an awesome God. And, Father... Just thank you for your Holy Spirit and guiding me and leading me in all that I do. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So with um with that, uh, stay calm. Whatever whatever's going on in your life, whatever's going on in your surroundings, stay calm and know that God loves you and He just wants you to acknowledge Him in, in every situation. So just know that. And if you came across this video and you do not have a relationship with Jesus Christ, all you have to do is is repent of your sins and accept jesus christ as your lord and savior and if you have a relationship with jesus christ you need to grow your relationship read your bible walk in obedience pray more talk to god acknowledge him when you wake up in the morning you know ask god to uh, his holy spirit to guide you, you No, know, to guide you throughout your day put you in the right place at the right time you know and just just come up with whatever you know that the holy spirit leads you to come up with to pray but include god just don't do your 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 your, your one prayer and then you're on your day and then something happened now you you just walking in fear and you're scared and, or you're angry you know you don't know what to do include god in everything all day whenever you can talk to him you can think about him whatever you know just just include. sometimes you just have to say thank you lord just thank you and that's i mean that's it but acknowledge god that's what this is all about read your bible Walk in obedience and pray more. As always, I'm Dr. Lee and thank you for watching. Let go, let God, and keep it moving. Take care.